So the first match property, you see a lot of people think first match is an answer to, to something pragmatic. In, in my experience, if you find yourself in a position where first match looks like the solution, it's probably a good indicator that you're doing something wrong. You don't understand what, what you're actually required to do. Here's an example of first match, why, why people tend to use it. We'll first describe you know, the, the, an implicit first match before we describe where it's actually used. So in this case, we've got a sequence called CD and it's a variable length. You know, we can have between one and three occurrences of C followed by D. Okay. So if I say E implies from the next cycle, I observe this sequence CD, what I will see is if E occurs, then C must occur between one and two times here. Okay, so C occurs once there and then D occurs. That property passes at cycle three. We don't hang around and wait to see if we get two C's or three C's followed by D. The property is passed. We have a conclusive result. So the behavior we described has been observed. Therefore, the property is passed and then it's then it's inactive now because we already have the answer. Okay, so we don't sit all around and wait for the, all the other times it might pass. Okay, so there's an implicit first match on the right hand side of every implication operator. Okay, so you, you know you don't even think about it because it's implicit. Given my claim that it's the a bad solution to things, uh, you, if you're interested in more detail of why, and this is a fairly lengthy video, it's about 25 minutes. This describes what first match is in SVA and tells you why PSL doesn't have one. Okay, so if you were to follow that link in your PDF, then you'll see the video um, which explains why. So well, actually it's shorter than I thought, it's, it's only 15 minutes long. So I'd, I'd recommend you go, and, if you think first match is a good idea, I'd recommend you to go and watch that video. Okay, so let's see, you know, why people actually use this and think it's useful. So we've got the same code here basically, other than what we've done with this property here. We've swapped the uh, left-hand side for the right-hand side in terms of where we use first match. So this is where first match is. The only place it could be useful is on the left-hand side of an implication. So the same sequence again, and let's see what happens. We've got two properties here, which are the same apart from this one uses first match and this one doesn't. So let's follow through this property here. We've got uh, C occurring. Remember that's our uh, that's our sequence, which is on the left-hand side of implication now. So if we have one C followed by D, both properties are now enabled because they've got the same sequence on the left-hand side. And we've got an E in this cycle here. So this one here, the, the one with the first match, passes, then terminates. That's the important thing. The first match means that once it's had the first match of this sequence, uh, then it doesn't continue trying to find other matches. Okay, so this property here, this one will terminate. Okay, so it's passed and then it will terminate and we've got our answer. Whereas the other one, the one that didn't have first match, it will also pass and terminate, but we've got the left hand side enabled again the next cycle because now we've got C twice followed by D. Okay, so remember this sequence on the left hand side was between one and two, uh, one and three occurrences and two obviously is between one and three. So we enable the property again. Okay, but this one will not get enabled again because it had first match on the left hand side. So this one here, because the E is not present on this cycle, this this will fail. This this property here that doesn't have first match will fail. So it will pass once and then fail. And because we've got three C's followed by a D, we get another copy of that, which is enabled on that cycle for and again the next cycle it will fail again. So what we've got here is if we didn't use first match, we've got one pass and two failures for basically we've got a result for every match we could make to this sequence. In the case of first match, we only match the first one as its name might suggest to you. So that's all very well. But um, in, my, in my opinion, you, know, you the reason you got yourself in this position in the first place is because you didn't describe the <laughs> didn't describe it properly. So, um, you know, first first match is just a stick in plaster in my view.